Welcome back everybody, this is Tyler from Life Brick Studios. In today's video, I'll be bringing you guys my top 10 least favorite LEGO Star Wars minifigures in my collection. And uh, yeah, with the whole fact of there are 1,200 LEGO Star Wars minifigures um, ever to be produced as of January 2020, I definitely don't have anywhere near there. I've probably got maybe close to about 400 to 500 individual LEGO Star Wars minifigures. So there's definitely quite a lot to choose from for, for my favorite and least favorites. And I've got all of them over here to the left. I've got 10 of them. Again, this is kind of a, uh, you know, list that a few of them I just kind of think are bland or, you know, could use some changes. But there are some genuinely, you know, some ones on here where I'm like, I could really do without. So let's move on to number 10, guys. It kind of starts off with just kind of one that I think is just like a little bland. But it also has, you know, some nostalgia f uh, factor for me. You know, being in the Lego Star Wars, um, you know, video game and just kind of being a classic um, Hoth Rebel Trooper. Um, I, don't, I can't really, you know, fault it too much, but definitely when you compare it to some of the new ones, um, it is kind of just a, a plain Rebel Trooper that I'll probably never use in a mock. You know, it just, it kind of looks ugly. Um, of course, the smiley face doesn't really do it any benefits. And uh, there's pretty much that, guys. But not really, necessarily, I don't hate the figure, but just kind of a boring one, I think, in my opinion. Moving on to number nine, guys, has to be this Rebel Technician from like 2002 or 2001. Again, nothing necessarily wrong with the figure. It's just kind of a, you know, just kind of a bland figure. And, you know, if I really had to choose, it is kind of tough. You know, I don't have a lot of Star Wars figures that I genuinely, like, dislike. Um, you know, I tend to either get them out of sets I like or, um, you know, buy the figures I, you know, I, I like, you know, on my want list. So, I don't really have too many that I genuinely dislike. But, um, number nine has to be this Rebel Technician. That's kind of just, you know, again, just kind of a, a boring figure, in my opinion. But also, you just kind of nostalgic and, uh you know, quite vintage and old. So, again, can't fault it too much. I mean, it's not like I'm, you know, hating on that one. Moving on to number eight, guys, has to be the Uncar Thug, which, I mean, this is kind of a toss-up. I know it was in the movie for a little bit, and it made sense in the set it came in, but um, for some reason, I've got, like, eight of these guys, and I don't know where they came from. Maybe I just got them really cheap, but um, just in my collection, I could do without. I mean, I really don't think I'm ever going to use, you know, this minifigure. I could use the parts, though, like... I do have, you know, a couple dark gray hood, hoods over here, so I could, um, if I really needed to, use the parts. The parts aren't bad, you know, they are universal. Uh, I don't know about the head per se, but the rest of the, the figure is definitely universal. But, um, again, just if I really had to choose out of my figures, I think the Ankar Thug would have to be, you know, up there with kind of my least favorites in the collection. Moving on to the next one, guys. Um, again, this is not necessarily a figure i you know hate or dislike is just one that i think needs a little bit of an upgrade and that's just the regular old, uh, you know uh battle droid right here um with the straight arm of course i think the one thing that they could do for a little bit of an upgrade but i'm not sure if it even work um you know in lego standards is if they could just make the legs posable i think that'd be the one thing maybe legs posable maybe a little bit of printing on the head and i think it would really be a nice upgrade after you know 21 years of using this battle droid mold um, you know, they could at least give it a little, like a little bit of an upgrade, but again, for what it is, I don't, uh, you know, dislike it, but, uh, you know, I think it could use an upgrade. So it is kind of getting a little bit boring and repetitive, not really seeing anything new with that, but it's still a good figure. And of course I still like my droids. Um, you know, stay tuned for the droid army coming out in the next couple weeks. Moving on to the next one. Um, it's kind of a, kind of a, the same one. The next two are kind of a tie. Just these first order crew members you know from being in so many just sets you know the battle pack um you know like three other sets i just you genuinely just don't like these figures that much they you can't use them that often and probably everyone that collects star wars you know has you know like 10 of these guys and it's like just what are you gonna do with 10 of them like you know one or two of them if you, if you really need them you know that's cool but the fact these were so easy to get like in the battle packs and uh just kind of repetitive um yeah pretty much the only difference is they are the the flesh head and the reddish brown one so again i'm counting it as too many figures you know cut me some slack, uh, slack on this video again there's not a lot of you know necessarily terrible uh lego star wars mini figures but uh moving on to the top four guys uh, you know the number four number well actually all four of these are kind of a toss-up and then just like i just don't like the figures at all these are some i genuinely kind of hate but number four has to be rose tico and, I mean, nothing to do with the figure itself. It's good printing. You know, it's universal printing. Um, you know, the head's not bad, I guess. But just the fact I absolutely hate The Last Jedi. I mean, just genuinely as a as a movie as a whole. Like, it just, I guess as an individual movie, The Last Jedi was okay. 
but if you're trying to connect it into the sequel trilogy or act like a Star Wars film, it did a terrible job. And that's just my genuine opinion. I'm not just hop hopping on any bandwagon. Um, you know, I enjoyed it for like the first day I came out of there, but ever since then, I just really thought back at it. Like, what did you know? What story did they progress here? You know, what did they show us or what did they tell us that we didn't already know that wasn't stupid? Um, you know, and just not like sensible. But that's for a whole different video. I got I got my Star Wars movie tier list uh, coming out. Um, in the next couple weeks guys so stay tuned for that if you guys want the full rundown of my opinion on all the movies but here's pretty much the rose tico uh right here and then i guess number three pretty much ties into it uh the rose tico undercover i recently picked these up in that 150 minifigure a uh, lot and uh yeah just genuinely I, I picked this one over it because this whole entire subplot line uh with rose and finn in episode eight was even worse i mean rose as a character is one thing you know genuinely but it's like Sorry about that little cut right there, guys. I'm not sure why my camera's doing that for like the last like three videos I filmed tonight. But uh, again, just pretty much this whole subplot as a whole, you know, with Rose and Finn and that DJ person just, you know, it's even more just irrelevant and worthless, um, you know, than just Rose in general. I mean, again, Rose is a character, you know, so what? I mean, she had a little bit too much screen time in The Last Jedi, I feel. Um, but, you know, I still just genuinely don't like her character. And uh, especially the one in the, in the undercover First Order uniform, just... I definitely do without so there's my number three or my number four and three and then these two it's a toss-up i just genuinely could do without these figures in my collection totally and i'm not even sure what this person's name is i really don't have a clue in the world um but she is from the um free maker adventure series i guess it's a kind of cool head i mean this side's kind of you know redundant but this side this side's pretty cool i mean it's it's a nice print i think and at least it's some cool parts, you know, you get some dark, you get a dark blue hood, you get a cape, you know, some, some robes you guys could use. Um, so that's why it's my number two. But again, I just don't care for the Freemaker Adventure. Um, I got this set for like five bucks. That's why I built it. And I really kind of regret it. I mean, I should not have wasted my time or my money even to build that set. The set's a garbage. I guess it came with Dangar, so eh, you get a little something in that set. But um, this character just, you know, I could, I could definitely do without. This is not... Not a fan favorite, not even sure what, you know, what she is. Uh, the Freemaker Adventure is definitely not a ideal, um, you know, part of the Lego Star Wars kind of canon. So there's that. The movie on number one, guys, we got this, we got this little kid right here. We got, we got Ronan, I think, or Rowan uh, right here. You know, the little, little kid right here. Not sure what he does. Um, I know he has a little droid. Other than that, though, just kind of, hey, just again, just a stupid character. You know, the whole, whole Freemaker Adventure thing just was pretty damn stupid i mean I, I liked the whole yoda chronicle thing is a lot better i think all the yoda chronicles you know minifigures and, and you know sets and merchandise were a whole lot you know just smoother you know looking than some of this free maker venture stuff like this is just a big you know what is this and again i put this out as number one just because it's kind of a more cringy character you can't really use the parts that all that often i guess the hair you could i mean the head head is pretty cringy the torso maybe and the legs i mean no one really you know reuses short legs for that much stuff so um there's pretty much that uh right there but uh yeah guys overall there's my top 10 least favorite minifigures in my collection star wars wise um i don't have that many non-star wars figures in my collection these days i i tend to sell most but um yeah i mean again there's a couple here that i genuinely dislike and then of course there's a couple on here i wish you know we could just maybe get an upgrade for um, you know, something like this, and then just a couple that I think are just kind of more bland. Um, so there's pretty much the, the list right there. I'll leave your comments down below on my list if you guys agree with it. Again, don't really necessarily hate me in this video, you know, if you guys like one of these figures. Again, it's not like I'm bashing it too hard. Aside for, aside for these four guys right here, I'm not bashing the rest of the figures really at all. So uh, that's pretty much all for this video, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. See you guys later. Bye, guys. Save 5% off on your next LEGO purchase. Be sure to use code LIFEBRICK, uh, that's capital L-I-F-E, BRICK, at republicbricks.com for 5% off your next order. We'll pretty much pay for your shipping or get you a couple dollars off. They sell old LEGO minifigures, sets, mystery boxes, and more. I've got a couple videos on my channel uh, showing the products, uh, so be sure to use code LIFEBRICK on your next order for 5% uh, for off.